sorry I like when I do like little cute designs hi guys and welcome to my youtube video my name's Daniela and I go by the name of DSYB hair if you want to see how I look from this to this hope you can see then continue watching today we'll be doing the Danny Lay inspired hairstyle um, so today I'll just show you how to create these cute little patterns in my hair without any expression I decided to do no ex add no expression into the hair just for those that actually don't want to add expression all the time when they're doing their hair and like you know not everyone wants to add any expression like when you're doing your kids hair or whatever and I feel like this is a like a very nice like cute hairstyle to just have in for a couple of weeks um you can also put it in a like a little bun like this all right I hope you guys can see like it's actually a very cute hairstyle like something cute something natural nothing you know too much something that's gonna only take 45 minutes to do um maximum you know but yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. So I've done one side, as you can see here. I'm gonna try and make this as easy as possible and make sense, and hopefully it makes a lot of sense. So, so with Dan, um, Danny Lay's hairstyle, um, she starts off with the curly hair, then straight hair, and then I wasn't quite sure if she done like crisscross but there was something going on but we couldn't really see the back too tough so I saw someone else done a similar hairstyle and they put crisscross in it so I'll also be showing you guys how to do the crisscross so all together you will be sectioning your hair into one two three four sections all together right and then obviously the little section at the front starting off with the zigzag section so with the zigzag section as you can see here i've sectioned it all for you but obviously i'm going to explain it in a bit more detail so as you can see here there's a zigzag here it, it, it starts like this and then it goes up down up down up down so all together there's six sections so that will be with the tail comb, you'll be parting it like this way downward. So one section, two section, three section, four section. I hope you guys can see five and then the sixth one. And then obviously you're going to plait the rest going downwards. Now with desire edge control, you're going to put it all around everywhere each section as you can see here what you will be doing is as you can see it goes she has it going down then up like this that's how she starts off so this will be an L shape then it will go up the second one will go up the third one will go down fourth one will go up fifth one will go down sixth, sixth will go up and then it will go into the last one going down as you can see I hope you guys can see what I'm doing like so so now I'm going to start plaiting the hair.
as you can see this is how you create the swirly section of her hairstyle now onto the second section she just does a straight back braid obviously at an angle but it's just a straight back braid as you can see make sure you try and get it as like tight as possible as it's your real hair um you want it a bit like as tight as you like tight as possible so um it doesn't get messy so fast as there's no expression being added that you can see here oh can you see now onto the crisscross section for this one is you will need two rows so as you can see here i've got two rows once each row is sectioned you're going to put because i'm doing only two um crosses that means you part four sections so that's one set so on each row you would have four sections one two three four and then you do it also on this side one two three and four now because you're doing crosses it's going to be i am actually so rubbish at explaining stuff i hope this all makes sense this is the right section and this is the left section the right section of section number one will be going into the left section of number two. The left section of number two will be going into the right section of number three. The right section of number three will be going into the left section of number four. And then on the other side, it will be the left section of number one will be going into the right section of number two. Then the right section of number two will be going on the left section of number one left i mean third on number three then the left section of number three will go going into the right section of number four i hope that makes sense yeah anything that you're not plaiting put it in a hair bag so all the blues as you can see i hope you can see all the blues will be together and all the ones that have no hairband on there will be together everything else can now be taken out and put some desire edge control on Now, the next section.
So as you can see, this is the back. This is the side. Oh, this is the other side. So now I'm gonna plait here. I was thinking, yeah, of just plaiting it. I just plaited it. But she did braid it, have it braided forward, to be fair. So it's up to you. Now, onto the baby hairs. Again, like I always do, I just play around with it. Now I'm gonna use some olive oil mousse, um, the ORS mousse. And go under the dryer. Now, some someone asked what if you don't have a hood dryer, then you use your blow dryer and then blow dry it for like 15 minutes, let's say. So um, you, go, you can go under the dryer for like 10 minutes. You, if you don't have a dry, uh, hood dryer, then use your blow dryer, blow dry it for like 15 minutes. If you ain't got any of it, then literally wrap your hair and then do whatever you need to do. Get ready or whatever, if you're going somewhere or whatever, and then take it off like not too long after you finish um, getting ready. Now over to the beads. Now in terms of the beads, I don't know if I just want clear. These are the beads I have. So this is how I do mine. I just add a do a loop and then start putting it in like this. Now I'm gonna add an elastic. Voila! So I'm gonna do that on the rest of them. guys this is the final look I actually really like it like it's a nice cute hairstyle to have especially for those that don't want to put add any hair in your head and yeah I hope you liked this video I hope you enjoyed this video I hope everything made sense let me know if it didn't <laughs> <laughs> but um don't forget to like comment and subscribe and follow at dsyb hair for more things on instagram and also don't forget to um head over to desire beauty's website for my edge controls sorry i like when i do like little cute designs see you next time bye